All right, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my own videos. I will show you the programs that I use and just overall how I do business. So the first thing that I do when I make a video is I plan out what I'm going to do, whatever topic I feel like there isn't a, a good amount of information out there. So then I'll do the research or I'll try to do, I'll try to YouTube it first and be like, you know, uh, a specific example was how does OSPF prevent loops, uh, routing loops. So there weren't many good videos on there, so I actually found the research, I, did, I mocked up the lab, and then I actually started doing it. Um, but when I started, uh, when I first started doing this, I needed to find out what type of desktop recording software was out there. And my first videos that I've been using, or the first videos I started making, I started using this program called Bandicam, which worked great. It was free. I got a 10 minute window and you, you could see up here there's probably a uh, a water mark, a logo there saying it. I could pay like 40 bucks to get rid of it, but then I found a, another piece of software that I think I like better because I get to toggle between my webcam. Uh, the Bandicam software does not allow me to toggle in and out of my recording session. So I have Screen Recorder Pro or Ice Cream Screen Recorder and then I just go and just do let's see uh, I open it up capture video let's do a custom area and I'll just choose this area right here. So now this is my window whenever I make a video this is what you get to see and then uh, I could toggle my webcam and I could move it around I could even resize it like that so if I want to show my face or whatnot then I can turn my webcam on and off and the other piece of software that I use is actually epic pen epic pen you may have seen this in my videos it looks like this this is the newer version and then I just hover over it and to do whatever I need to do. Normally I just use the pen, I just use the default color of red, it doesn't really matter, but um, I just got a new laptop and it has a touch screen, which I love because now I don't need to use uh, some other type of third party tablet like this. Um, this is the Wacom tablet See, this is Wake on there. I got on Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks. It's pretty cool. It uses this pen, and wherever I move my pen, it moves on my screen. So I used to do this um, before I got my new laptop, but if I just click that and then I write, uh, I just took a, I just took a screenshot. So wherever I write on my pen, that's where it's gonna write on here. Rah! Okay, and then I just simply clear that off. So this is what I use sometimes. This is what I started out with. I mean, it's really cool. You just gotta make sure you keep going back and forth. But since I got this new laptop, my screen is actually touch screen. So now I could just write on the screen. So sometimes on my latest videos, you could see me go like this or something like that. What I'm doing is I'm actually touching the screen and I bought this little stylus pen. It's actually a kid's stylus pen. It looks like a crayon, but this soft tip allows me to touch my screen. So there I just touched it, and then now if I want to write, I can just write whatever I want. CCMP Seth, woo! And usually I just keep going with that, and then I could easily just hit the little trash button to clear my screen. And then uh, my main program that I use is GNS3. Uh, I started, I mean, when I just started uh, learning networking, that was like the program, that was like the best thing out there. And and actually, it works very good because you get to use the iOS's that Cisco has. And if you have the IOU images, then you could actually run Layer 2 and, um, yeah, Layer 2 uh, images in there. So how I run it is I actually, I run it in VirtualBox. I run everything in my little virtual box here and I use Ubuntu as my host. So I'll just start that up. Uh, let's see if I can move this for a sec. Put that over there. We'll start this up. And then I just install GNS3 in there, install my images, 
and it has wire shark already in there everything's good to go so let me screw that now that's running that's cool uh, one other program is Cisco Packet Tracer Cisco Packet Tracer is now free all you have to do is enroll in a Cisco Academy class and it could be anything and it's for free and then you just get to use Packet Tracer so Packet Tracer is great for studying for CCNA and some CCMP topics uh, they've gotten better over the last year or two uh, I think they're on 7.0 yeah, I'm on 7.0. I think they even have 7.1 out. But they started adding new things uh, that was lacking in the older versions. Um, now they started doing like cloud stuff, I believe, and Internet of Things. So uh, if you enroll in Cisco's Network Academy and take some of their free classes, you could practice some of those objectives in the CCNA, CCNA security, and some CCMP topics as well. So uh, I like... I like doing, I like using Packet Tracer for some things. I also like using Ubuntu or GNS3 for other things. So I just get rid of this. Type in GNS3, and then it'll start just like normal. And then I add whatever things I need to do, like my recent project that I'm going to do. I'm going to make a video about Backbone Fast and how that actually works and when a switch uh, detects an indirect failure what actually happens in the background because we all know oh backbone fast oh it just cuts down the max age timer cool no there's actually a method behind that some logic behind it and it's one of those things that you kinda of pass over but when you get to the IE level you have to know exactly how everything works and how that affects other things so that's what I'm trying to do uh, I've been trying to study for my uh, CCIE for quite a while. I actually I took the uh, I took the written not too long ago. I did not pass it. I was very close. I got a my score was a 773, which was not passing. But I can't tell you what the uh, minimum score was. But I'll just say I did not pass. So that just made me rethink my studying strategy. And all I can say is practice, practice the uh, theories that you learn. And when you do labs, they solidify what you know. And it's funny because some of the videos that I did that I've done on my channel, they've actually helped me during my <laughs> during the test. So, uh, you know, anyways, so uh, this is just how I do videos. Again, I use Epic Pen, pretty good. Epic Pen. I use Packet Tracer, GNS3, uh, Ice Cream, Ice Cream, Recorder. So, and then if you have a touch screen, then go ahead and just get a stylus pen. Use Epic Pen, it's great. Um, this Wacom tablet, it's good. You can get that too and yeah everything else is free after that so um, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Eric who requested this video and so thank you for the request if any of you guys have any other requests I know some some person on my channel left a comment saying he wants me to do a video on GNS3 so I'll probably start from the beginning how to install GNS3 and then how to import the images and what it can do because of course GNS3 is awesome because it has built-in Wireshark which you've seen me do on my videos so that's it so I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing